Good morning, good morning, everyone. I am Councilmember Donovan Richards from the 31st District in Queens, and I am Chair of the Public Safety Committee. I want to acknowledge my colleagues. We're joined by Councilmembers Brannon, Deutsch, Manchaka, Lanceman, Valone, Powers, Adams, Cohen. All righty, I got it right. Today we are voting on a very important bill, Introduction 1349-A, a local law in relation to requiring the police department to implement child-sensitive arrest policies. Part of the goal of this bill is to prevent what we all saw happen to Jasmine Headley. We saw the video. I don't need to say much more than this. It was terrible to watch, and we want to make sure that never happens again. This bill is about properly training officers to handle one of the most difficult situations they can face, what to do with a child of an arrested caregiver. Being a police officer is not just about making arrests and enforcing the law. It's about doing that work compassionately and with respect for the humanity and dignity of the people they deal with every day, even the people they are arresting and especially the children who have done nothing wrong, but who are faced with the trauma of watching a parent or loved one taken away in handcuffs, sometimes with no one to care for them other than the officers who arrested them. Minimizing that trauma is an important goal, and this bill outlines clear steps the department should be training its officers to take in order to achieve that goal. Ultimately, this bill is about doing things better, not just keeping us safe, but treating our citizens and our children how they deserve to be treated. It also contains important provisions, making sure that we are involving the Administration for Children's Services in the appropriate situations and only in the appropriate situations so that being arrested doesn't lead to needless interference in family relationships in the communities where we have seen too much law enforcement activity. I want to thank Councilmember Drum for sponsoring this bill, and I know he's out to vote, um, and uh, it's an exciting day for him to pass this bill. But more importantly, I want to acknowledge Jasmine Headley for her continuous work uh, to ensure that uh, children and their parents could be treated in a just fashion. Um, with that being said, um, I'm going to first, before we call the vote, ask for a moment of silence. There was. Uh, an NYPD officer, unfortunately, who committed suicide uh, just on yesterday. That was this is the eighth suicide um, this year, and I want us to um, just have a moment of silence for him and his family and for the NYPD. Thank you. With that being said, I ask the council to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on public safety, introduction 1349A, Chair Richards. I vote aye. Cohen. Aye. Deutsch. No. Lanceman. Aye. Menchaca. Aye. Valone. Aye. Adams. Aye. Brannon. Aye. Powers. Aye. I vote of eight in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstention. The item has been adopted by the committee. All right. Thank you all for coming out today. This vote is now closed. Okay. Uh, there he is. Oh, sorry. We'll hold it open. One last vote. One second. Continuation roll call, Committee on Public Safety. Council Member Rodriguez. Aye. Vote is now nine in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. This hearing is now closed again. <laughs>